So day three of Oshkosh 2019. Uh, we didn't make it in all the way over to Oshkosh yesterday. And we got our campsite all set up over here and we're at the Platinum Flight Center here in uh, Appleton, Wisconsin. As you can see, uh, see it behind me there, where there's uh, quite a few warbirds that are out there and we're gonna go check those out a little bit later. But right now it's onward to Oshkosh and we're gonna meet up with our buddy Joe Pineda over there. So stay tuned for day three, Oshkosh 2019. Making our way through town, we find ourselves at the approach end of Runway 9. The camping planes you see to the left were the lucky ones that got in before the storm, or were lucky enough to get in on Tuesday before the airfield closed for that afternoon's air show. This Oshkosh is being affectionately known as Sloshkosh. It may appear like there's open spaces to camp, but really those spots are just full of water. The weekend flyers I hear had better camping as things dried out. Almost there as we approach the parking area for the main event gate. To the left, you'll see some helicopters staged, even one campaigning for President Trump. Behind the helicopters is Pioneer Airport and the EAA Museum, which is open all year round. Heading down Celebration Way as we make our way down to Boeing Plaza. airplane dear souvenir stuff and that they did so many vendors and souvenir tents to go through for now though let's continue on to Boeing Plaza This airplane uh, has Oshkosh, a Wednesday. Still two more days to go, and there's just so much and to see out here. Uh, just absolutely we have fabulous. Just look at all these airplanes out here. Flip the camera around. There's a formation coming in. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Uh, some of the other people, the warbirds out practicing. Talk about too is the carbon concept. So cool. With so many home builds and experimentals to see, there's absolutely no way we could capture them all, but here's just a few of our favorites. So we're over here in Warbird Alley now. There's so many Warbirds out here to check out. So follow us along.
Regional Airport in the Cessna 172. Part four, day two at Oshkosh Air Venture, we explore the vintage aircraft area and EAA's seaplane base on Lake Winnebago. And we also check out some pretty neat ultralights, as well as meet a few of our favorite YouTube aviators. But that's all coming up in the next video. So until next time, fly safe, and we'll see you around the patch. So long.